Yahweh. Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Um, double honors to our apostles and our elders, a great millstone. And uh, salutations to all you Akim out there that pushes word in all truth and all sincerity. And this is going to be an open forum. And the brother and I were just discussing about uh, how there's a bunch of signs going on right now and tokens, okay, of uh, Yahweh Shai's second coming, okay. You know, we were talking about the false prophets. Um, uh, what'd you say about Israel? Uh, they, they, oh, yeah, they, they, they recently shot missiles. Uh, speak up to uh, uh, they, yeah, Israel. The Israelis, they recently shot missiles. Uh, I, I can't recall uh, which which uh, area in the Middle East. Syria, I think. It was Syria, Believe more it. than likely. Uh, but these, these are all signs of the Lord's coming, man. Uh, not to mention you have that, uh, that uh, the, the sign in the heavens. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, which is coming uh, next month, man. It's a super uh, the, blood moon again. Yeah, the blood moon, man. It's... You know, hey, the, all these are signs, man. You know, the Lord is is really showing us that He's about to make His second return. Everything is happening simultaneously, okay? Because before you might have an event, you know, happen here, happen there, and it would be, you know, uh, done with. Now it's everything's back to back to back, all at the same time. So we got we we know that Yahweh Shai is about to come very soon. And we're gonna start off with uh, Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, that had made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. So yeah, and and that's the truth, okay? Uh, the Lord has made America great, man. He exalted America, and He used America. All right. To, to push uh, this demonic vibration on the world And now the world is uh, mad These other so-called countries Are angry With the wine that they uh, drunk, man Alright You know, because uh, they're, they're getting uh, um, the short end of the stick On the, the deals You know, uh, the, the uh, democracy is getting pushed on their uh, country Which is uh, upsetting them Because that brings forth homosexuality Uh... The uh, women being exalted, all sorts of folly comes with uh, with democracy, okay? And they're tired of it, you know. That's why you have all these uh, these uh, ally countries now. They're even um, coming against the United States, and that's a prophecy too, man. That the allies of uh, America, Babylon, they're gonna turn on on this whore, man. You know, you got the EU. Uh, the China, they, they're putting tariffs on America because America initiated this trade war. And that's going to further destroy America. The economy is going to collapse, man. And that, that, that not only just that, uh, that, that hurts the, uh, the relationships between America and these other countries. Okay? Right. You know, verse uh, 8, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain? If so, be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she has not healed. Forsake her, and let us go every one into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven, and is lifted up even to the skies. You want to say something on that? So, so yeah, basically, um, there's no uh, healing Babylon, okay? There's no stimulus package that can heal this place. Uh, America can't put any more band-aids on its relationships with everyone else, okay? You can't, uh, uh, you can't stop this destruction, man. The Lord has it written that this place is going to be destroyed, and that's the way it's going to be. Uh, as a thirteen, I got a little bit more. Than, can I finish this then? Uh, the Lord has brought forth um, our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord Yahweh, our power, and that's what we do. We go out there in the highways and byways and preach uh, the, the, this gospel. You know. This good news to the people, the elect, really. We tell them what's to come. We tell them that our power is about to, to return and stop all this madness that's going on worldwide. And when we're about to get saved and redeemed, then we're going to be placed on top, man. That's right. Verse 11, make bright the arrow, arrows, gather the shields. The Lord, Yahweh, hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, which is the Russians, for his devices against Babylon to destroy it. Because it is the vengeance of the Lord Yahweh, the vengeance of his temple. That's right. That's right, okay? So the Lord's getting these nations geared up for war. Alright? Because that, that's the Lord's will. 
He he wants it to be destroyed. This is the vengeance of the Lord. This place is going to get uh, destroyed by thermonuclear uh, fire, man. Okay, now what do you want, the Isaiah 13? Yeah, Isaiah 13, man. Because like you said, man. Uh, no, keep talking now. No, like you said, man. Like, uh, this, is, this is ultimately for the Lord's vengeance, man. Like, these nations that... Because once upon a time, uh, a lot of these nations were joined together as one, man. Like you go back to uh, what, what was it World War One? Russia was a uh, was a uh, what was it allied with uh, with America? And then after uh, after that it was a uh, I can't really remember is that a World War One or, or World War Two? So like a World War One and World War Two, but I believe it was World War One where uh, Russia and America were allied with each other, man. And uh, then after that, in the Second World War, yeah, they were enemies, man, and because they like uh, you had Stalin. And you had a fucking up. You had um, goddamn Hitler, man, which were on, on on the same agenda, you know, of killing off the fake Jews. But not even so much as doing that, man. America joined uh, that, that that fucking uh, that Zionist belief in the, in all that bullshit, man, because America was at that forefront and that head for the new world order, man. And that, that's really what what, it, what it's all coming down to right about now, man. Power. Power. Simple as that, man. Power. You know, all these nations were, uh, you know, they, they were superpowers. And at, at the end of World War II, America became the superpower as we know it today, man. And that, that's because they used the atomic bomb. You know, they used the atomic bomb and that basically made the world quiet. You know, talking about that in the yep, I was gonna say it's, it's mentioned in the scriptures, man. You know, and um, you know, now now it's uh, you know, a fight for power again, even though you have the elite banking families behind the scenes of everything. But even that, man, they hey, Esau they may they may make deals with each other, but they're waiting to uh backstab each other, man, right? You know, you think Putin's really you know, uh, completely working with the uh, the elites the 100%. He wants power too, man. Hey, you look at the the history of uh the the, the Roman uh, Caesars, man. They were all Caesars. They were all close to one another, and they were killing each other off just to get power. Okay, so now everyone's fighting against each other, and that's the Lord's will because Esau's kingdom is uh falling, and we'll get that scripture in a little bit where it talks about um that uh Satan's kingdom is divided, man. How can it stand? All right. Now, what did you want in Isaiah 13? Um, you started at verse 13, was it? Actually, I'll start at, let me start right here. Uh, Salaki, I saw a good, uh, kind of go ahead, man. this is uh, Isaiah 13 and 4. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. So basically, the, the Lord is, um, he's the one that's controlling this fight he's the one that's uh putting the spirit in these uh nations to get ready for warfare hey what does it say in proverbs was it 22 or 21 and one the lord's uh, uh the, the king's mind is in the hand of the lord i think it's uh, 25 it's 25 con you know it, t it tells us in the you know the you know the in the book of proverbs that the lord you know controls the these kings man and he turneth them uh however he wants basically all right that's, that's why ultimately, man, you got to deal with the Lord, man. Like, in, in any fucking thing, man. You got to deal with the Lord, man. Like, as far as your judgment or anything that comes down, as long as you're dealing heavily with the Lord, man, the Lord is going is gonna, is gonna to either deliver you or he's going to deliver you unto, uh, to wickedness. And, like, if you're righteous, man, you're going you gonna to know if that's what you got to be delivered unto. But in this situation, man, yeah, man, as far as uh, this unrighteous king that we're dealing with, we already know like how the scriptures go for this man, for far as Esau. I mean, you know, it says uh, like it's no matter what Esau. We can tell Esau like this is gonna happen, blah, blah, blah. and he can try to be like, nah, it's not gonna happen, and try to avoid it. But it's already set up, man. We we read the scriptures. We read his uh his his uh his his uh what is um his judgment, his testimony. We just gotta wait for it to play out. That's right. Oh, where should I go now? Go farther down. Yeah. yeah. 
should I, where should I start though? Because it talks about the meads down here. Shit. Start at 17. I can't highlight it right now. Um, we'll jump down to 17. Uh, Isaiah 13 and 17. Behold, I will stir up the meads against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bowls also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. That's right, because it's ultimately what the Lord is setting this up for, man. The destruction of this place, man, because it's like, what, what, uh, what use does it have anymore, aside from persecuting the children of Israel to get to either get them right or to destroy them, man? It's like, uh, you know, we we we've been there, done that, and that's that's what's happening now. It's no more use for this place. Like it, it, it was. It's no use for the most high to have this place go alone. For what? For what, man? You know? Go ahead. Exactly, man. Hey, and it said the Medes, um, the Medes, uh, the Lord's going to stir up the Medes against them. And that, that's the Russians. And you see that. There's nonstop uh, tension between Russia and America. All right? That, that, that's been going on for, uh, for uh, you know, since the Cold War, basically after World War II. But in recent years, I'm going to say the past, like, Especially the past like two, three years, man. It's been nothing but you know Russia, America. That whole Cold War spirit is is brought back to play again, man. You know, and, and the Lord is um gonna use the Medes to destroy this place, man. That's why I said right. their bows are uh shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. And that's talking about these missiles, okay? Once they're shot up, uh, these thermonuclear missiles are shot off. Everything in sight is gonna get destroyed unless you're a part of the elect. Okay. Right. It doesn't matter like if you're old, young, man, woman, child. You're gonna get destroyed. Well, once this, uh, these missiles touch down here, man, that fire is gonna engulf everything in sight, man. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep reading. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And that, what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? It got destroyed by fire and brimstone. Nothing can inhabit that place again. It's a desert. That's, That's right. what's going to happen uh, to this place. It's going to turn into a wasteland. Okay? It's going to turn into a big-ass wasteland. And everyone's going to see that it's going to be basically a, a, a monument, a memorial of how not to live. If you want to live a wicked lifestyle, this is what, what, what uh, uh, it gets you, you man. That All right? That exactly. Yep. Verse 20, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt uh, in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful um, creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and uh, satyrs shall dance there, and wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant places. And her, long, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. So that's what's going to happen. This place is not going to be inhabited by man again. The only thing that's going to uh, live in this place is desert, uh, desert creatures, as it just said. That's it. Basically, uh, those, uh, um, those scavenger animals, man. Okay? There's going to be no vegetation here. It's just a big wasteland. And it, and it has to come to pass, because look at the, the, the things that, uh, that are promoted here. You know, hey, one of the signs that they, uh, we talked about before the we started uh, um, making this video was this uh, whole Pride uh, Parade, man, or um, a Pride Month, okay? How homosexuality is being exalted and being pushed to the forefront at an all-time high. This place can't go on for that much longer. Because we just had the Pride Parade this uh, weekend. You had, uh, when we were on the line, we saw... Uh, what do you call those trans? Uh, uh, I don't even know those cross dressers. They he had a bunch of makeup on. He looked like a goddamn uh, uh, a fucking. I don't even know, man. Just a freak, man. He had a bunch of colors on him. All right, he had high heels, man. The dude was already tall, and with the high heels, he was like seven feet tall, man. Is and the, and, the, and the, those are the guys that go to these uh, schools now. To to uh, teach these kids, uh, 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 you know, uh, he, they they go to the libraries of the schools and, and read stories to them and how being a tranny and how being a cross dresser is okay. That uh, you know, it's okay for Tommy to go wear a dress. That that, that was the spirit, man. Because I was just gonna say, man, it's like uh, <laughs> we know how to deal with this 
far as being men and like in, in our adulthood, like to understand right from wrong, or uh, you know, yeah, right from to, wrong, yeah, to, to be able to deal with that, man. A fucking kid is looking at man. Uh, a kid is looking slucky. Uh, have to clear my throat. Uh, a, a child is looking at these things, man. A child. Yeah, Somebody they, who doesn't understand the right from wrong, or even if they do, man, they're, they're not ready to uh, to be able to have this set in the inside of their mind, man. Yeah, they're they're very uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They can be molded easily. Exactly. That's why they're pushing on these children now, like uh, at such a young age, because a child that's you know three, four, five, six years old that sees that they don't see it as anything wrong. They're they're they're, they're just living life. They're just learning basically they're trying to, they're basically getting molded to be an adult and the esau wants these people to be homosexuals man to be uh, deviants to be degenerates okay because this man is the wicked man he's the, the 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 foul man okay of this earth the most base creature he's not a, a bright it says that in the book of Mar- uh, no habakkuk that the soul that's in him is not upright hey but that's that, that's the, that's the prime reason why he's going down man like the Lord didn't set up a base man just for us to be under a base man. Like, nah, the Lord set this guy up for an example, man. That means the Lord's gonna, if, if, like, if anybody believes that there is a God, the Lord let us go into our desires, man. The Lord let let this man rule over us for so long, man, because the Lord is not unrighteous to do so. But at the same time, the Lord's gonna imprison that man. He's gonna set up a, a righteous king to rule over this land, man. Cause it's, like if you read Isaiah the 45th chapter, man, it says uh, in the 45th chapter, the Lord didn't create this world in vain, so why would he give it to a vain man? It's only for for the inhabitants to learn the lesson, man. Come. Try. You get uh Ezekiel 30. If you uh, get your preset out if you got it one. Ezekiel 30 and what? Oh uh, shit. Grab 30 and I'm about to read on down because I can't rally you over. A little bit down. Like around the 20th verse. Shit, you actually not nah, get that verse right there? Which one? Uh, the 16th. All right, um, this is Ezekiel 30 and 16. Now I will set fire in Egypt. Sin shall have a sin shall have great pain, and no shall be rent asunder, and no nope, nopa shall have distress daily. That's right, man. And that's talking about America, man. Those those are uh, so-called cities that were in Egypt, but uh, what is spiritual Egypt? America, man. The Lord's about to send distress upon this place. For these uh these these crimes they committed against the most high. That's right. You know? That's right. And yeah, rightfully so, man. You know, th- this place has gone far too long with the, the wickedness, and there's gotta be a judgment, you know? There's gotta be a judgment. That's right. Actually, I'm gonna keep reading down. Uh Salaki, I'm gonna jump down to uh 19. And it reads, Thus will I execute judgments in Egypt. And they shall know that I am Yahweh, and that's right. The Lord's got uh, various judgments, you know, from the the famines to warfare to uh, diseases to ultimately these thermonuclear missiles hitting this place. This place is going to be in great sorrows, distress, and pains, man. But many lamentation, mournings, and woes are coming. That's, right. that's it, man. That that's what's coming to America, man. And you're, and we're seeing the the beginning uh, 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 steps to it. The beginning of. Uh, you know, uh, uh, procedures to it, because the Lord's taking this place out bit by bit. Right now, what's happening is America's getting destroyed financially. First, this place has been destroyed morally. It's done. It's it's done. But now, with the the Lord's taking this place out financially, and it's slowly uh gonna uh, 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 escalate to physical warfare. Okay. That's right. Got a second, Peter. Need to get out of here soon. Gone shit. We'll just uh just end it off with the second Peter's in. This is uh second Peter's uh three and ten, and we'll go down to uh
uh, about 14 and it reads 2nd Peter 3 and 10 but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up that's right you know no nah, man it says <laughs> it's plain and specific man Hey, 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 and if you read later, later down in the next verse, man, it says, "What what manner of persons are we to be, man? That's right. The Lord's about to destroy this fucking place, man. And all we can do is like strive to be like those those. I'm gonna say so called perfect, man. But at the same time, we are perfect because the Lord makes us perfect. Yeah, in the spirit, man. Hey, hey, you know, yeah, we're in the the, the elect. Lord willing, the well, we're a part of the elect. Sure. And um, you know, the elect. Yeah, they they. The, their, their flesh has been at fault. The flesh is, uh, you know, made, made the elect, you know, fail, so to speak. But through the spirit and power, Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai, the elect spirit it, it is perfect. That's why it says in the in the book of Revelation that uh, that um, that there was no guile found in their mouth. Right. You know. And um, hey, like I said, there, hey, the Lord's coming as a thief in the night, man. This stuff is gonna. It's gonna be like a domino, uh, um, like domino pieces stacked together, man. Once that, once there's the, this great um, major event that happens, that one domino piece is gonna make the rest fall, and it's just gonna go fast, man. That's right. And we're just waiting for that one major event, man. And these people out here, they're gonna be caught off guard. You know, even the us men of the Lord, it's gonna be like in a sense surprising to us still too. Except we got that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is gonna make us stable in those times. Right. But it's still gonna, you know, be a shock too, man, to us. You know, it really is, cause well, hey, well, once the daily bread is gonna be scarce out here, water, the the basic necessities, food, raiment, clothing. Once that's gone, hey, it's gonna be a different uh, uh lifestyle out here, man, so to speak. It's gonna be a different uh spirit or out here. It's, it's, that's gonna be a strong test of faith, like yeah. Uh... Say even if uh if everybody like that was around us didn't bug out, even so that would still be a strong test of faith. But you have the the uh, the imaginations of other people in the play with that. <laughs> That's gonna be a strong test of faith for the men of the Lord hey, or men that call themselves in this thing. Man. Hey, it says in the scriptures that the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Be saved. That's right. So it's gonna be a very um a very hard um. You know a uh, path that we're about to uh, uh, enter in, man. We're entering into the final, uh, the seconds, man. And it's gonna be a very harsh, uh, you know, um, very harsh walk. Uh, I'm gonna keep reading verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Yeah. So since we know this is coming, what well, what manner of person should we be? Hey, we have to be. Uh, we have to have a holy conduct. We have to be in the spirit. We gotta stay away from the, the the ways of this world as much as possible. We gotta stay away from niggas like ITR because they don't believe this <laughs> place is fucking being destroyed, man. Of course, man. Hey, gotta... hey, hey, these people out here, man, they don't have any faith, man. That's what it comes right. down to. That's right. They man. really don't have faith. Because if you have faith, you'd be pushing destruction. You'd be pushing prophecy, man. You'd be warning the people, being a watchman. But they, that, that that's another lesson, you know, within itself. If I could, hey, one yeah. more thing before we end it up. If I could say this. Verse 12 Looking for and hastening Unto the coming of the day of the Most High When the heavens being on fire shall, shall be dissolved And the elements shall melt with fervent heat Nevertheless We according to his promise Look for new heavens and a new earth Wherein dwelleth righteousness oh, yeah. Okay this is weird why you have to read that Because I was going to say this Like uh You got guys so called camps or even people that like that, 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 that are against camps, they believe that they're Israelites, man. They, 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 they'll say things like, uh, you know, the Lord's not gonna, like, this isn't Babylon, and the Lord's not gonna destroy this place, man. First off, man, the Lord has to destroy this place, man. Because if we are his people, if we are his people, first off, he's not gonna like us being in this place. He's not gonna like the shit, the history that's been done to us in this fucking place, man. And it's written. It's, it's written, written man. first and foremost. Hey, the Lord doesn't want a, a blot on his name, okay? That's right. He's not man, he shall not lie. All right? I'm going to keep reading, Ock. And that's what we look for, man. A new heaven and a new earth, man, where righteousness dwelleth. 
We want a, we want a, 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 you know, a refreshed kingdom, a refreshed earth, man. We, that's why this place, that's another reason why this place has to get hit with missiles too, man. Because it needs to cleanse the earth. It, this place actually physically needs a, a cleansing, man. And the best uh, cleansing agent is fire, man. It kills all the germs, all the bacteria, all the diseases of the land, okay? Or on the person, so to speak, okay? That's why these things have to come to pass. Because everything is polluted, man. You go from the oceans to the air to the lands, everything's polluted, okay? And then we obviously need a new uh, uh, rulership, man. To Esau, just, God, this guy is polluted the, the, everyone's minds, man. It, it's done, man. They're through. Verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for the such things, be diligent that ye be found of him in peace without spot and blameless, you know? And that's what we got to do. We got to be diligent in this truth, okay? We got to constantly study, pray, be in the spirit. And just hope that, that, that you know, the Lord can forgive us, man. All right? Sure. We don't want to be uh, uh, found with God. We want to be the ones that are blameless and without spot, man. Those that had their uh, sins uh, sins um, uh, cleansed, man. Okay? And, you know, with that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to... Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakaq Kodash. Double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you Akim out there. Shalom. Shalom.